What up, though? This is Kevin Melson with Beyond Your Limits. And if you're new to the channel, thanks for checking us out. If you're not, welcome back. The pick and roll is one of the oldest actions in all of basketball, and it's one of the oldest for good reason, because it works. Perfect. If you can run the pick and roll properly, it's virtually unguardable. There will always be something that you can attack or something that you can take advantage of. I almost forgot, there's one action that can help your game more than the pick and roll and that's hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. But without any further ado, let's get into breaking down the pick and roll. On the pick and roll, your best read is the wing and the corner help defense. When your teammate rolls down the middle of the lane, either the help is gonna come from the wing or the corner. And if the help does not come, that roller is wide open for a layup or a dunk. If they do open, the skip pass is open for a wide open jump shot. This is one reason that the pick and roll is so effective because it puts the help defense in a can't win situation. You basically have to pick your poison, a layup or a wide open three. To make the screen most effective, the ball handler must first find a way to get the defender to be late to the screen. In order to do this, you must first create space between you and your defender. This gives your screener more space and opportunity to set a good screen. A lot of times the defense will anticipate the screen. This is a great opportunity for you to reject the screen and get a straight line drive to the basket. Another way that the defense anticipating the screen can work in your advantage is oftentimes your screener doesn't even have to set a screen because the defender has already given up and started to chase you as if you were going off the screen. This makes it a lot harder for the help to help. And lastly, if you didn't get a good screen the first time, you can go off the rescreen, and this makes it a lot more difficult for the health defense. The first way the defense tries to stop the pick and roll is by containing the penetration. And this is where the big drops back into the paint and try to discourage the guard from getting all the way to the basket. Your two best options here are to either attack the big or to shoot a pull up jumper, whichever you feel most comfortable with. It's also important to note that you don't have to rush. Once you've beaten your man off the screen, you can shield him and wait till the big guy recovers back to his man before you attack, but you can really take your time and make sure that you're making the correct play.
You can also use the snake dribble off the pick and roll and this pulls the big man so far away from his original man that they have to switch creating a mismatch and you can decide which one that you want to attack. The next way the defense will try to defend in the pick and roll is to show and recover. This is where the screener shows for a quick second to make the ball handler stop and then they get back to their original man that set the screen. One of the best ways to beat this is to attack the outside hip of the big man stepping up and if you can get around that big man, you have an easy layup or an easy pass for a wide open shot. Often the screener will be open and rolling to the basket as well since his man had the hedge hard and will most likely be late trying to get back. Teams will also try to trap the ball handler as he comes off of the screen. Your best option here is to be prepared for the trap when it comes and to get the ball out of your hands as quick as possible. Teams will also try to ice the screen. This is when the ball is in the corner or the wing and the on-ball defender is forcing that ball handler to go to the baseline and the screener man will drop to contain the ball handler as well. The first thing you can do is if you have a shooter that's setting the screen, is just pass them the ball. They'll be wide open for an open shot. You can also try to drag the big man down lower as your teammate rolls to the basket and he'll either be open for a layup or if the help comes, another skip pass across the court will be open for a shot. Teams also go under the screen. They usually do this when they feel that you're less of a threat shooting from long range than driving to the basket. If this is true, then play to your strength. If they go under the screen, that gives you more space to attack them off the dribble. But if you're good at shooting and you're confident at shooting that long range shot, step back and knock it down with confidence. And lastly, teams will switch to pick and roll. And when this happens, you have to find which is the bigger mismatch and attack that. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Who is the best at running the pick and roll in the NBA? And did I leave out any tips or tricks that you might have for running the pick and roll? Let me know in the comments below.